Hello folks, this is uh, 2022 May June paper 13 and the question number is 13. This question is concerned with the chapter vectors or I can also say forces. It says a street lamp is fixed to a wall by a metal rod and a cable. So this is cable, this is metal rod, this is the lamp here. Which vector triangle could represent the forces acting on the end of the rod? So this is the end of the rod. Rod at point A. So we have to find uh, which vector triangle represents the forces acting here. So, since this is the end, this string will be acting the force like this. It will be trying to pull the body like this, like this. So, in the vector triangle, we must have uh, this sort of arrow, this sort of arrow. So, that means this and this disqualifies because they say the arrow is like this, like this. So, they disqualify. These two qualify. Next is the weight. So, on this thing, the weight act downward. The weight act downward. So if we go to this, this qualifies and this does not qualify. So this does not qualify and that gives the right choice as this. Such a shortcut. But let's uh, let's uh, discuss further. And now here, what happens is, since this thing and this thing might this uh, um, might bring this body like this because their resultant will be somewhere here. So the another force, remaining force has to balance it, has to balance it. So that's why here the force will be like this, should be like this. So shown here. So that's why D is the correct choice from all views. And the next is, our next uh, credit that is fully is, when a body is in equilibrium, the vectors form a cyclic triangle. Cyclic triangle, see, cyclic here. Here it's not cycling, it's not cyclic. Uh, they are cyclic, but they, don't, they might be cyclic, but they don't disqualify, they don't qualify, but here they, they perfectly cyclic and qualify also. So D is the correct choice.